Who is the nicest celebrity you've met? I met Steve Buscemi outside of a comedy club in La. My friends and I saw him smoking a cigarette alone and I went up to him and said hey. You're Steve Buscemi. Can I have a hug? Then he said you want a hug? He shrugged and gave me a hug. D so yeah. He was nice. I heard him respond to you in his voice. Then I could see the shrug he gave you. Deleted. My girlfriend met Chris Pratt on a red-eye flight from Lax to Orlando. He waited around and took selfies with everyone waiting for their bags while he waited for his. She tried to take the fastest picture ever because she was embarrassed to bother him and he made sure the picture was good before she left. Deleted. Hugh Jackman. Insanely nice. And he was twice as handsome in person. John Cena. He's a really down-to-earth kind of guy. He does charity. He's one cool dude. I made that guy a sandwich once when I had no idea who he was. He was genuinely surprised that I didn't want him to sign for his seven dollars. Zero zero purchase. Then he turns around and signed something for some guy hovering. My co-worker went around the back and started freaking out. I had no fucking clue what was going on. He just smiled. Aaron Paul. Sat next to him at a Radiohead concert. And he was sitting next to Piers Brosnan as they were filming together at the time. It was also before the end of Breaking Bad. I have met quite a few celebrities as my girlfriend's father was quite famous back in the 80s, still kind of famous, so I have met them at parties. None have been nicer than Aaron Paul. I was kind of freaked out and he was such a nice guy. Funny and he went in for a proper hug when I told him I was a huge fan of Breaking Bad. He also trolled me a little telling me how he can't wait until fans reacted to his death scene at the end of the series. He truly seems like a super nice person. I remember he posted a photo of himself and Brosnan on Instagram while they were at that concert. Lady Gaga. I worked room service in the bar at a hotel she was staying at. She ordered room service and I brought it up. She was in casual cloths and was extremely nice and courteous and tipped well. It seemed like no more than 30 minutes later she was at the bar all gaga out talking with some of the regulars. Not a spectacular story but it caught me by surprise. When I heard she was staying I expected her to be a super diva like some of the other ones we had stay. Everything I've seen and heard regarding her indicates that she is very down to earth compared to a lot of people in the business. Plus her music and shows are a lot of fun. Johnny Depp was actually super nice. Was walking to work one day. I believe on the day Pirates 3 came out. And he was down in the tunnels. Got to walk up and shake his hand. Talk to me about my job. Shared some insights about working as Jack Sparrow. And how he always is so thrilled when he gets to be the character. I assume you worked at Magic Kingdom? I imagine the tunnels thing is an odd statement to people who aren't familiar with how it's built. Andre 3000. Met him in the airport back in 2015. Smiled and took pictures with over 30 people. And at no point did he get sick of it. He's a cool guy. Deleted. Marilyn Manson. Dude is completely humble and highly intelligent. His interview on Bill Maher really showed a sophisticated side of him that most people would never associate with someone who looks the way he does. Jeff Goldblum. I was working in an amusement park around the time Jurassic Park came out. Was zoning out at my register. And he was standing right next to me. Waiting on someone. I did a double take. Not quite sure it was him. He just looked at me. Gave a smile like he knew I was trying to figure it out. And said how you doing? In that distinct voice of his. Not that this was that nice. But pretty nice. And he's the only celebrity I've met. Snoop Dogg. I opened for him in 2013 and he came up to the booth during my set for a smoke and a chat. Really sound bloke. It makes me a little sad that. After two hours. No one has commented on your comment. So. Even though I'm not interested in hip hop. Wow. You opened for Snoop that's awesome what style are you playing? Val Kilmer was pretty cool. Tried to get his autograph for my cousin. We were kids and she loved him. And realized I didn't have a pen or paper. He pulled out his wallet and signed it on a dollar bill with a pen his buddy was carrying. Val Kilmer was pretty cool. Classic Ice Man. I met Peter Dinklage at the premiere of Pixels. It was free. I don't want to hear it, and he was a really cool guy. I didn't get to speak with him for very long. But he seemed genuinely grateful when I told him I loved his acting in everything from Elf to God. 
He even apologized for having to cut our chat short to get to his seat. But he did say that it was a pleasure talking with a fan who wasn't just gushing at him. I would love to meet him again. If only to bask in the glory of his epic beard. I imagine that would be kind of refreshing for a celebrity. Also, nice username. Weird Al. Can concur. I was seeing him that night in my hometown. I was walking around the shopping mall and he walked right past me. I stopped for a few seconds. Turned around and went to shout out Weird Al before realizing that was a bit weird. Chased after him. Said hi. Asked for a high five and told him to kill the show that night. Super lovely guy. Gary Sinise. He does free concerts with his band. The Lieutenant. Dan Band. For veterans all over the country. I saw him perform in featuring. Riley. K.S. A few years ago. It was about 100 degrees outside and humid as hell. And they never let the energy level drop or seem tired or anything. At one point. There was a problem with a speaker or microphone or something and they had to pause to fix it. And he immediately took off his guitar and stepped down to the crowd to sign autographs and talk to people. He's incredibly sweet and kind. And he does so much for veterans and families. Him and Tom Hanks are probably my favorite actors ever. Fucking top-notch guys. Nick Offerman was the dude. Met him after an American ham show at his, now our, alma mater for a pick. He got down on a knee for it because I'm in a wheelchair. Hence lower to the ground. I sort of joked that he didn't have to do that. And dead serious he goes. Son you should make everyone take a knee for you. Took me a while to figure out he wasn't joking. He was saying have enough self-respect to ask people to accommodate you. That guy is operating on another plane of existence. A dream Grenier was cool too. If a little awkward. I wish I had better stories but maybe next time this gets asked I will it's actually a bucket list item to have a real conversation with an artist or public figure I like or respect. So far no luck. Son you should make everyone take a knee for you. That's the most Nick Offerman thing I've ever heard. Great story. Maria Sharapova. I was at the Memphis Indoor Tennis Tournament and was in the autograph line after her match to just get to see her leave. I guess she noticed I was the only person there not screaming for an autograph. Because she stopped. Took a picture with me. And gave me a signed ball. 10 stroke 10 very nice and pretty woman. Yes very pretty indeed. John Cena is one of the most genuinely good and down to earth celebrities. Also does an insane amount of charity work for kids. I read that he has done. By far. More make a wish appearances than any other individual ever. What an amazing guy. Charles Barkley. He and Rockets were in town and congregated in the same hotel area where a very drunk after wedding party was being held, I was in attendance. And holy shit were we smashed. He was totally cool. Super gracious. Talking shit and being funny. So me and my buddy Mike are leaving the room. And Mike turns around and says. Good night Charles. Thanks for being so cool and he walks right into the wall. Completely smashed into it. Barkley and the rest of the guys at his table all look over and he says. Yo you guys driving? You better not drive or I'll kick your ass off to call us a cab. We were all staying at the hotel. I guess Charles Barkley isn't a terrible guy. I know people like to pick on him on Reddit. But my aunt has a great story about Jimmy Fallon. She's lived in NYC for the last 20 or so years and has seen him various times in bars and the like, yes. I know he's probably an alcoholic. One time. She was in the same bar as him back when he was on SNL and when she went to leave. He asked her to stay and dance with him. They both went to the jukebox. Picked out a song. And danced together. It's one of my favorite celebrity encounter stories. He's a goofball and just a really sweet guy. Weird. I don't really picture him being a huge drinker. Do people say that he is? Jack Black. I was at the after party for Nacho Libra with a friend because uh, my folks were out of town and I was in middle school and b, my friend's dad was one of the producers. Everyone else was in suits and stuff but Jack Black was in cargo shorts and a t-shirt. He came up to my friend and I as we were eating churros from the dessert bar. Stood around and talked Cheris and Lutcher and Halo with us for 10-ish minutes before he politely apologized and said he had to continue to make the rounds. When you are a sticky, nervous 13-year-old it is really cool to be given the same level of attention and respect as a bunch of Hollywood execs and producers and actors. Dude Jack Black is just a older 14-year-old. Tom Selleck. 
a small group of us was headed to dinner. One of the group was still in his navy uniform. He must have seen it. Because he stepped out of his trailer and thanked us all for our service, in the late 80s. Before that was a thing. Talked to us for five minutes or so. Orville Redemption is second, he gave me free popcorn. I am glad he is cool. Embarrassingly I always thought he was really awesome in Friends. Already mentioned this story. But Zac Efron. He was filming at my old work overnight. And I did not even recognize him. Came into our office between shoots and watched a movie with us, Armageddon if I remember correctly. We just chatted for two hours and essentially hung out. It was only after I went home and put two and two together that I realized I just hung out with a former teenage heartthrob of all the girls in my high school. The next night he thanked me for not freaking out by a star and asking for an autograph. I gather he is not used to being treated as a normal guy by people. The guy who played Jaws in the Bond films was awesome. He got me and my brother in a double headlock. His hands were pretty much the size of my face. And you can count, on me, waiting for you in the parking lot. I honestly do not remember meeting many celebrities. By far the largest would be Adam Savage, you Mr. Savage, and Jamie Hyman. Saw one of their shows while they were on tour. I got Adam to answer one of my questions on stage. That was amazing. I actually created a Twitter account and tweeted at him that it was cool that he answered my question. He favored that tweet so I am assuming we are best friends now. You could say things are getting serious. Pendulette. BTWI avoided bothering him when I saw him. But I heard him talking politely to his waitress even though she was kind of rude. He seems like a classy guy. After their show in Vegas they both stood outside the theater and took pictures with anyone who wanted one. Cool guys. I met Katherine Heigl. She spit in my face. Keyed my car. And shot somebody's puppy as they walked past. I guess that's pretty nice compared to the things you hear about her. Chris Hardwick actually. He had a stand-up show in my city on my wife's birthday and made a point after the show to come and hang with us for a minute and actually almost got in my wife's car with her. Gave us all a handshake or hug and wished her a happy birthday. He almost got in her car. Like. He got too familiar and thought he was gonna get to come hang out with you guys and you had to tell him no. Yo yo ma. Then again. When you're a kid. Most adults are pretty nice and polite to you. I have a friend who just started working directly under him a few months ago and she's only ever had positive things to say. She said he buys everyone lunch pretty regularly and is always super kind to the people he works with. Chuck Norris. I was in Vegas about 20 years ago when I was 12 or 13. I was there for a UFAF, martial arts, competition. In which Chucky was president. I was in the Stardust Hotel standing by the elevators when he came walking by. Surrounded by eight. Bodyguards. He stopped. Broke through the circle of guards. Shook my hand and introduced himself. Cool dude. He stayed and chatted for about five minutes until my parents finally came down from the room and met us by the elevators. They were fucking gobsmacked. Surrounded by eight. Bodyguards. Are you sure Chuck wasn't guarding them? Sandra Bullock. Sandra opens her heart and her wallet whenever disasters strike. In the ocean abroad. I remember just after Katrina happened, before we realized how bad it was. Movie stars were donating a few hundreds ks here and there. Sandra donated a cool one meter. She's a sweetheart. Can't say I've met her though. HTTP, colon slash slash, oh not he didn't. Live a journal. Com slash 38,838,174. HTML. Dave Cowlear from Full House. It was years ago. At a celebrity hockey game in Michigan. After the game a bunch of the celebrities were signing autographs. As you can imagine there were huge crowds of people around everyone. Being a super short kid I was pushed back by all the adults. Dave saw me struggling to get to him and he made everyone move out of the way so I could get up to him and get his autograph. He did a couple impressions for me. Then sent me on my way before he was swarmed again. My brother's buddy wrote a song called Dave Cowlear where he just repeated Dave Cowlear over and over again. Apparently. Dave Cowlear found it and emailed him just to say. Thanks for writing a song about me. Odge Simpson. I'm not even kidding. He was very nice. Nice try Odge. Bruce Willis. 
I met him a few weeks ago when I hit into him with my backpack by accident while he was online to get coffee. He smiled and asked me to not make a scene because he didn't want to be noticed by anyone else. But he was super sweet to me. He even burst out laughing when I said yippee ka motherfucker when I didn't know how to end the conversation. Bruce Willis went to school with my mom and aunts and when he used to come home he was so nice to people around here. For his 30th class reunion he sponsored a trip to Atlantic City and was handing out $1,000 chips to people. When my mom passed away he sent a huge arrangement to the church for her funeral. Because they were close through school and such. He gets a bad rap at times but he really is a good dude. B. B. King. He was absolutely the sweetest man I have ever met. Let my dad play Lucille once. That is pretty much the highlight of his life. Dirk Nowitzki is genuinely one of the nicest, most kind-hearted people I've ever met. I used to work out at the American Airlines Center and he would regularly come to shows there up in the suites and it was always a joy to take care of him. He never demanded anything fancy and always would make small talk with us while we were delivering or setting up, even though we didn't want to impose. Ron Washington, the former Texas Rangers manager was very similar as well and would regularly ask about how I was doing whenever I came in to drop off a six pack. I was shocked shitless when the extramarital affair surfaced and he was accused of sexual assault. Dirk also signs pretty much everything sent to him care of the Mavs. Which is crazy considering he's one of the best PFS in the history of the NBA. I waited on Charlie Watts from the Rolling Stones. Super nice guy. Super chill. He was wearing a three-piece wool suit that looked like it cost about four dollars. Zero zero zero. But he was very down to earth. Yep, the guy wearing the four dollar. Zero 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 suit is holding the elevator for the guy who doesn't make that in four months. Come on. Ryan Dunn. Met him in Ybor City. Tampa. Florida when Steve-O was doing live tours and ran into Dunn at a Jajamaista bar. Super friendly guy. Bought me shots. Met his brother too. All those guys are cool as hell. I met George St. Pierre once in Vegas. Class act all the way. He is a guy that really appreciates his fans. Met Bruce Willis in Miami years ago in airport terminal. Had a pleasant conversation with him not about acting before he asked if I wanted to go grab a cup of coffee. I was departing soon so I couldn't. The bad part of this story was that I had seen WWE wrestler Eddie Guerrero earlier in the same airport that morning and he was a real ass. On both occasions I kept it real low key and never asked either for an autograph. Did you make a Die Hard 2 reference? Ryan Robbins. HTTP, colon slash slash, www. Imdb. Com name nm 0730455 Ref equals TTCLT13. I was at a convention and was sitting quietly by myself. My wife had passed away a few months before, and I was crying quietly, because she had wanted to come to this convention with me, but died before we could make it. Anyway, he came and sat next to me, and gave me a hug. He didn't ask what was wrong, but broke out his guitar and started singing to me. A bunch of people came over, this was in the lobby of a hotel I was staying at, and watched him perform. But he did it for me. It seriously brightened my day. And I'm always happy to see him get new roles. Kid Rock. In a bar in London. I offered to buy him a drink because he did the theme song for The Undertaker in the WWF way back when. He politely refused and grabbed his bottle of Jim Beam on the bar and got me one instead we then spent a good hour or so chatting about his tours of Afghanistan gigging for the troops out there. Such a genuine. Awesome bloke. Probably Rob Britton or Tom Hollander. Met both a few times due to family things and they are very nice guys. Also met Jimmy Cubbard he asked if I wanted some heroin with my shortcake upon hearing my Scottish accent. Sir Anthony Hopkins is so nice and a gentleman. Met him during filming of Hannibal in DC. He stayed around talking with people and complimented my little niece. He was sizing up her liver. Deleted. Deleted. But you were the chosen one. I work at a famous BBQ place in San Antonio that has frequent Spurs visitors. Tim Duncan will come and for to go and even takes pictures with people or sign some stuff for people in line. Great guy. Tony Parker is a douchebag. I don't think you needed to say Tony is a bag. Everybody already knows that. Seriously. Cheating on Eva Longoria. For shame.
Not me but my father met tons of celebrities. He said that David Grohl is a really cool dude and so was Neil Patrick Harris. Dave Grohl is someone I have never heard a negative story about. He is apparently the nicest rock star on the planet. Andrew W. K. Which one? I didn't meet him per se. But when I worked as an extra on Kimmy Schmidt, Jeff Goldblum was cool as fuck. Penn Gillette was pretty awesome too. Him and Teller do signings at the end of their shows in Vegas. Tie between Joel McHale and Stephen Amell. Three is less than three is less than three. Stephen is just a good dude all around. He keeps in constant contact with his fans through Facebook and has run a bunch of charities. If I were into dudes, he'd definitely be in the top three. I played blackjack with Brian Cranston while he was in Las Vegas filming for Malcolm in the Middle. Probably the coolest person I've ever met. Vince McMahon. He was getting on his plane after a show. Came over to my coworker and shook our hands. Said thank you. And gave us a very generous tip. Seems like a cool dude. Just don't get in the car with him. Felicia Day. Met her at BlizzCon a few years ago. All things considered. Jessica Simpson was really quite nice. Though short. Like way shorter than I thought. She played along with the joke. Her sister though. Girl does a mean hoedown. Kid Rock. Has done some awesome things for terminally ill kids. Nathan Fillion. I've run into him at a few parties now and he is everything people would probably think. Goofy. Eccentric. Witty. Dances like a white guy. Genuinely seems to enjoy interaction with people. Took pictures with us and hung out with us throughout the night. Nolan North is another outstanding gentleman. My only real good story is at a party he talked to my friend and I briefly before going oh I have to go say hi someone real quick I'll be right back. I thought that was just famous talk for later nerds. He came back within two minutes. Apologized for leaving and asked us how our day was going. Chris Jericho. Me and my dad ran into him at a bar when we were on vacation in Banff. He was genuinely one of the nicest guys I've ever met in my life. Removed. Bo Burnham. He stayed after his set in 2013 to say hi to all his fans. He was very meek and kind. Lou Ferrigno might be the nicest cat in the world. And I've heard this from other people as well. Wikipedia claims he's a human. I've met so many at conventions where I feel they're kind of paid to be nice but I'm going to have to say Robert England. Same. Only met celebs at conventions. Still. I gotta say Misha Collins. I already knew he was nice because of charity and stuff. The tickets for his meet and greet had been sold out. But he stated that he wanted everyone to get a chance. And he'd only leave when no one else wanted a picture with him. He was all sweaty because of the heat. And there were some crazy fans on that day. But he kept smiling and being awfully nice to everyone. Almost surprised at the reaction he got. Dick Vital. 11 year old me was so scared walking up to him eating breakfast but the waitress said he loves talking to people. He couldn't have been nicer. I got a picture with him and he signed my Dickie V bobblehead why not dolphins. Awesome baby. Not sure if it counts since we've been in the same small circle of friends since we were like 11. But Brandon Lil B. McCartney has always been one of the nicest dudes ever. I only see him maybe once a year but he's still the same goofy. Generous. Light-hearted guy I've always known. Even after getting a lot of exposure. Your friends with the bass good himself? Damn. Tyler the creator told me to fuck off then said JK I like your shirt. Sweet guy. Deleted. Lawrence Fishman. Saw him in Toronto a while back. He was taking pictures with people and talking with fans. In fact I was the ass during our meeting as a drunk me kept yelling Morpheus to get his attention because I forgot his real name. Paul Wall. My dad sold him a Mercedes Benz a few years ago when he was an up and coming rapper in Houston. Mr. Wall came in with a fully decked out grill dressed in baggy clothing with a mean mug on his face. Apparently he was one of the nicest and most polite men my father has ever met. He was very respectful. In the 90s Debbie Gibson had just built a house two houses down from my cousin. When we were 10-11 years old, we knocked on her door and interrupted her Easter dinner to give her the seashell necklaces we made for her. She thought it was really sweet and did build a gate shortly after this. But I don't think it was because of the necklaces. 
Dan Aykroyd was doing a signing in my town for his Crystal Head vodka so my brother and I went because hey. It's Dan Aykroyd despite having shaken hands and signed bottles for hundreds of people he was a pretty nice dude. Asked how we were doing and told me to take the bottle that he had just signed. And appreciated when I took a moment to quip about how we used to drive our mom nuts quoting his movies. Nice dude. Daniel Radcliffe. Well give us the story then. Tom Six, creator of the human centipede, it's contrary to what a lot of people think of him due to his work. A really sweet dude. Did he invite you back to his place for a glass of water? I had a rough time for a while. I was asking for change on Vine Saints in Hollywood. Adam Sandler, his wife, and two daughters gave me six dollars. I don't talk about those days much but seriously that put me back to feeling like a person. And then step by step I got out. I'm happy. Gainfully employed and starting classes at a community college in June. Yay. Dolly Parton, she is exactly what you would expect. Sweetest thing ever. I'm glad someone finally mentioned a woman on here. 3. Met Quentin Tarantino at a bar in Austin. He was by himself so I just said hi. We ended up talking for near an hour and he covered my bar tab. Nice dude. Talks really fast. Pro wrestler the junkyard dog. Met him in a hotel elevator in Memphis. He was carrying a bag of BBQ ribs that smelled damn good. Talked to him on the ride up. Didn't realize who he was until I got off the elevator. Deleted. Deleted. I have friends who live in Beverly Hills who told me a story about Russell Brand. Her dad is a plumber and he's a preferred one of the stars because he makes it a point to try and not know who they are. Anyway. He gets to Russell's house and starts working. Says he's incredibly nice the whole time. Cracking jokes left and right. Right as he's leaving. He turns around and says to Russell hey. You're pretty funny. You should be a comedian. To this day. My friends laugh to tears about it. I'd have to say Lindsay Lohan. I met her in a club. And she asked me and my friends if we wanted to hang out in her booth. Bought us drinks and everything. Pretty down to earth. Might have been an off day for her. Chris Rock was a pretty cool guy too. Smoked a cigarette with me once. Mark Ruffalo was really sweet. He was volunteering at an anti-fracking rally. Smart. Passionate guy. Whoopi Goldberg insisted I call her Whoopi after I called Hermes. Goldberg. Also very nice. Robin Williams. He had been flying from base to base in Afghanistan doing shows for the troops. It was about 2100 when he did his show for us which didn't end until 2300. He stayed up another hour taking pictures. Signing autographs and making jokes. Before he left he asked if I enjoyed the show. I said yes and he said good cause you seemed extra sad today. I worked in the trauma hospital and lost three people that day. I watched his stand up shows as part of my treatment for survivor's guilt when I got home. That man was a treasure. Tom Hiddleston is a true gent. He's always out and about locally and is extremely gracious. Also, anyone familiar with Mark Lanagan may be surprised to hear it. But he's actually a really sweet guy. I met Kanye West briefly at the Montreal airport. Shortly after the release of his album Graduation. He was really nice and down to earth. We spoke about his tour and he showed me a funny picture on his phone. Makes it hard for me to believe that he turned into such an ass after that. Hep. Came here to write pretty much exactly what you wrote. My version. I met Kanye West briefly at the Edinburgh airport. Shortly after the release of his album Graduation. He was really nice and down to earth. We spoke about his tour and he showed me a funny picture on his phone. Despite how much he acts like a dick in the spotlight. I find it hard to really dislike him because I remember how nice and normal he was when we met. Also. He has insanely soft hands. LeBron James. April Fools. He was actually a total fucking dick. Lajan Witherspoon and Morgan Rose from Seven Dust. I know they aren't like. Bigger list actors. But it's still a well known band. My buddy and I offered our seats to a lady at their concert one time. Turns out she knew the band. Thought it was very kind of us to offer out seats. And introduced us. We ended up partying with them in the VIP lounge all night after the concert. They were pretty kickers. What stood out is that they didn't just sit and answer our dumb fan questions. They actually engaged in conversation. 
asked us about our interests, etc. It was pretty badass. Patrick Dempsey. I was with a group of friends on a ski trip. They saw him and asked for a picture. He very politely agreed, and thanked us after the picture was taken. The dude's even McBreamier in real life. No homo. Was on jury duty with Steve Carroll. He was super friendly and nice and when we had a break we talked about motorcycles for a long time even walked back to the parking garage together still talking about riding. We never introduced ourselves and just went on our way even though we both totally knew who he was. Also got to hear him say the ham is irrelevant in court so. Dax Shepard and Kristen Bell. They were just so genuinely friendly. Talked for a few minutes before I realized who they were. Then when they introduced themselves I was shocked. Dita Von Tees. She's fantastically fan friendly and will go very far out of her way to do a kindness for a fan. Gene Wilder. Interviewed him about 10 years ago when he had a book out, he's an author too. Spent over an hour talking to him about everything and anything while he made me cups of tea. It was like having a surrogate granddad for the afternoon. I was in total awe of him having grown up watching him as Willy Wonka and then in the Richard Pryor comedies. But he was sweet and humble and kind. Jim Carrey. In Universal Studios when I was very young. I told him I saw your movie and he grabbed his chest and yelled you saw my boobies? And I said no your movie. And he shook my hand enthusiastically and said I saw your movie. Too. Sir. It was very. Very good. I've wanted to be a film director since I can remember. It's one of my favorite memories. Deleted. Danny DeVito gave underage me alcohol at his NYC apartment. My boyfriend at the time had gone to high school with his son. Jake. They were having some kind of get together at their place. Danny told a story about himself doing acid with one of our friends. The son of a pretty well known film producer. It was fun. He was very nice. And even shorter than he looks on television, if you can imagine. Kane Hodder was super nice. Choked me really good in the picture I took with him. Sebastian Roche. Dom Delusi was a contagious spirit. Awesome guy. Glenn Howerton. Met him after a stage play he was in. We waited for him after the show and when I saw him walking out I went up to him and said, Wendell Short is it's me Brian Lefevre. He seemed confused at first but quickly got it. Those are both characters from Always Sunny. He then said hey, buddy and gave me a massive bro hug. He then stood around and talked with all of us for a good while. He seemed genuinely touched when he found out we came to the play to see him specifically. Also turned out we parked in the same lot. So he pulled up to us in his Telsa while we were walking to our car and told us to stay out of trouble that night before he drove away. I'd prefer to have him scream a furious but eloquent malediction at me while turning red in the face. Alizé. The French singer. Super friendly. And a great memory for her fans. Knowing where she's seen them or talked to them before. R.L. Stein. He is hilarious and very kind. And the first time we met he talked to me about his childhood memories from Halloween and spending time with his grandparents in Cincinnati. Going to the park to play baseball and having to work weird jobs before he got really big. Just really a good human being.